No, there's yeah, there's there's blood. There's a lot of blood. Um, not just not just during the bank heist, but because you know because Dennis's job in the movie is not a very pleasant job. Uh, so it's uh, no, it's it's and of course there are torture scenes. Um, so it's it, 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 bloody shot, but I, um, I'd like to think we never went overboard. The man, I think we're doing those. Definitely, we didn't put anything, any blood or gore for the sake of definitely. So we were very respectful no matter about that. Thank you. One question for Dennis. Dennis, the action film uh, audiences are not known for being good acting vehicles. But in this case, I think that you were able to play around and exercise your uh, skill. Um, oh, nga po, yung mga action talaga, usually, hindi ganun. Pero, um, dahil dun sa, sa kwento nung uh, The Janitor, uh, hindi, hindi mo siya kapanoorin dahil talaga sa action. Yung maga, parang bonus na lang yun. Yung, yung kwento talaga, yung pinaka-content na yung pinaka-strong point nung, uh, nung pelikula. Dahil, uh, maganda, yung, maganda talaga yung kwento niya, napaka- uh, totoo yung mga characters and um, well in terms of acting vehicle naman uh, grabe rin kasi yung pinagdaanan ng character saka malaking bagay rin yung guidance ni Direct Mike dahil bawat, bawat eksena talagang kinaguide niya ako, in-explain niya ng mabuti sinisiguro niya na uh, walang artista na maliligaw sa mga eksena kaya uh, sana naman maganda yung uh, Another question from Mr. Ed Mangira. Earl pala, sorry. Uh, first, muna ang question kay, kay Direk. Direk, um, na-mention mo na kanina yung tungkol sa yung reference to the professional, Leon the professional. So, uh, may, mora, may morality play kasi yun. So, yung sa, yung sa janitor, ano po yung morality play nyo in a nutshell? Oh, um, I think the one, um, and the one thing that I think we were able to improve on uh, from our uh, inspiration was the morality question. Dito is not just for the characters, also for the audience, because so so that natin si Dennis throughout his journey. But you have to also question where where do you stand? Uh, do you have a line that you have to cross? For example, if someone wronged you, if someone hurt you, or your family. And I will send someone, a friend of mine, to fix that problem. Hindi na, hindi, hindi, hindi ka naman mong problema ulit. Yung taong yun na nanakit sa'yo sa pamilya mo, hindi mo na makikita ulit. Oo, oo, ka ba o hindi? That's the, that's the moral question eh. Because, so do you, do you have a moral line? Kung mawawala na yung problema mo, mawawala na yung threat sa buhay mo, just don't ask me questions. Pero ako na bahala, mawawala yun. Alam mo yung kalakit na, na repercussions nun. It, that's the, 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 the question, not just for the characters in the movie, but for the audience who's watching. Because I think one of the, one of the, I believe it's in the trailer, or if it's not in the ones you saw in the long trailer, si Richard Gomez asks, meron pa bang inosente sa panahon ito? That's, that I think encapsulates for me, yung, yung, ano, yung movie, because none, none of these, none of the people in the movie really are perfect, you know? There's no such thing anymore. In, in such a um, uh, complicated world, there's no such thing anymore as good guy, bad guy. Uh, ang tanong po is, if, the, if everything is a gray area, saan ka doon sa gray area na yun? You know? Alright, and then for Dennis, uh, medyo geek geek kasi I, I run a geek blog. So, um, ang question kasi is, your character, is he, is he Punisher? Or is he Hitman? Or is he... Assassin's Creed at Zio Auditor. That's a great question. You're talking to the right people. Yes, I Google. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 Zio uh, Assassin's Creed. Must Assassin's Creed Zio. Alright. Sorry, yeah. we're geeking out also right now. <laughs> Pero usapan sa set, laging yung PS4. Tsaka ano eh, meron din nagbibigay sa kanya ng orders talaga. Bago niya, bago siya pumatay. So, tingin ko, mas assassin. Alright, and last question. Uso kasi ang trending kasi ngayon yung si Masked Man na pumatay ng Hold Upper. So, are you for or against 
vigilantism. I am absolutely against vigilantism. I think one of the reasons the movie exists is um, uh, you, we need to trust in the system. Um, but it, I think if you do vigilante work, you compound the problem. You're you're not the solution. And I think we proved prove, we proved that. I mean, throughout this country has gone through martial law. This country has gone through uh, really dark times in its society. And I think uh, as a free people, when you feel that the law is in your hands, I think must not be complicated, pa. You know, and I think you become part of the problem and not the solution. So uh, I am completely against that. I would rather support um, the good cops out there, and you know, and uh, and not take things on our in our in our own hands. Mahirap lang kasi ngayon because people, more and more people are learning how to fight. People are learning how to carry weapons, uh, and at the same time, there's a rush of crimes na. Talaga makikita natin na sa mga security camera, sa mga mall, kahit saan nangyayari na. But I think uh, we have to work at that. We have to fight that as a society and not as individuals. Uh, direct last question. Super last. Um, Puso kayo lang ni Detective. Will uh, you be the director to deliver the first Detective? You actually na may great team na oh, Detective yeah. story. <laughs> Sige, I, like, I like your questions. Uh, <laughs> I wish. I wish I would do like season two of <laughs> the Um, I think that was uh, we were also watching that uh, at the time. Um, I, I was watching True Detective at the time that the script was being written. Uh, and what I love about True Detective, isa yung sa mga naging peg um, uh, namin ni Aloy. Sabi ko kasi what what's beautiful about True Detective is the milieu, the local is as much a character as anyone else in that show. You know uh, that particular story could not have happened anywhere else. Imagine kung nasa urban area siya. Imagine kung nasa uh, desert siya or beach. Completely different. It, it was a southern gothic noir talaga. And sabi ko, I, what I would... This is, it's Marisa who figured that. Marisa Florendo, our DOP. On her second day of shooting, kasi binibigyan, binibigyan ko siya ng mga peg, binibigyan ko siya ng mga lighting. This is, sabi niya, this is, ano, no? This is noir, no? What you're doing is noir. You didn't tell me what you're doing is noir. So I go, how did you figure it out? Because of the way you use shadows. See, Marisa kasi is really a scholar of the, of the, of the craft. It's a cinematographer. So sabi niya, you're doing ano, Pinoy, Filipino noir. Sabi ko, that's exactly what I was going for. I'm glad someone picked it up. Sabi ko sa kanya. And hopefully, um, uh, hopefully we, we at least succeeded a little bit on that. Yes, FPJ, you have a question. Uh, first, Derek, uh, I'd like to ask, because you mentioned that uh, in terms of action, parang nyo, there's an alternative kind of action that you want to experiment. Yeah. So, did you actually uh, have images of what kind of action scenes that you'll actually do? Or uh, on the set, you're also trying to do an experiment of perf uh, executing the action scenes? <coughs> In your head, or no, I, I think what uh, yung gusto namin gawin sa action, the revolutionary thing that the janitor tried to do sa action is to try to do it correctly. Yun na. Kasi uh, Dennis and I have worked a lot in movies and TV shows. I will tell you right now, most of the action scenes in TV shows and in movies are really rushed. Because we just don't have the, the money, the time, the budget. Uh, to be able to do it justice. So sabi ko ngayon that we have an indie film that kontrolado natin yung time. We, we don't have much time, we don't have much uh, budget, but let's try to do it right. So for example, yung sa kanila ni Raymond Bagat Singh, they, they, they learned that choreography three weeks before the actual shoot. So we, we rehearsed in a gym, tapos for how many at natagal namin doon? Um, we shot it from, the, from several the, uh, Raymond and, and uh, Dennis were fighting in a ring and we shot it from different angles. Thus, we, we, we roughly edited that para alam namin kung paano kunan yung elevator fight. Uh, it was very, very difficult because they couldn't fake it because the whole fight happens in an elevator. So, we can't just bring in uh, doubles kasi yung camera nandiyan eh. So, it, it, when you see the elevator fight in the final film, it, it really is Dennis Trillo, it really is Raymond Bagat Singh. And, and, it wasn't uh, pleasant for them to shoot physically. Pag good na pag good. So we were doing that about, I don't know, alas tres na umaga, alas quattro na umaga. 
Oo, oh, oh, tapos may sakit pa pala si Raymond. Na hindi nila sila. Ang putla putla na ni Raymond. Sabi ko, galing na artista nito ni Raymond. Bagat siya yung putla, oh. Yung pala may sakit na siya. Ayaw niya sabihin sa amin. Kaya pala parang na, 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 ang tamlay niya. Pero ang maganda kasi kay, with, with an actor like Raymond, ang sama na pala ng pakiramdam, nagpukulong siya dun sa, sa dressing room kasi ang sama na pakiramdam. So, suka siya. Tapos pag action, action, ah, ah, you know, to, todo bigay pa rin siya. Um, and, and that's, sabi ko, we, we wanted to try doing it correctly. You know, the fact that, kasi mga artista, dinuturuan niya ng fight scene 30 minutes before the actual take. Tapos, oh, take na, take na, take, ganyan. Tapos, that's why people get hurt sometimes. So kami, sinubukan namin, hindi, subukan nga na. So, we have to do it, ano, professionally, correctly. So three weeks before, natutunan na nila. Unbeknownst to me, si Dennis at si Raymond, nag-meet pa. Ad additional times after that. Nag-rehearse pa sila, nag-practice uh, nag pa sila. Uh, so that on the day itself, it was very measured. Alam na alam na namin yung mga shots. Alam na namin yung mga timing. Um, and that's that's uh, uh, an example. Uh, yun lang nga, you can really only pull that off because I was very lucky. Very physical naman kasi yung mga artista ko. Uh, Dennis really knows how to fight. Derek knows how to fight. Raymond knows how to fight. Yung, yung sa kanila lang ni Derek was also, was scary also because yun na nga, they had to do it. So pag nakikita nyo na parang iniipit yung, yung arm ni Dennis, babaliin na ni Derek, that's all real. That's all painful. Um, it's chevre it's not life threatening pero mahirap pa rin gawin kaya sabi ko yun, yun yung revolutionary actually uh, na, so let's try to do it right yun yung bago where does ano uh, meron bang specific na discipline na inapply niya for the action scenes or in in, in, uh, in Raymond in the Raymond Dennis fight that was what do you call that what do you call that you uh, in the world. yeah we, we use that, that's uh, it was parang kali eskrima Parang kaling iskrima with guns instead of knives. And, um, uh, uh, Jeet Kune Do. Si ano kasi, si Raymond is a Jeet Kune Do uh, practitioner. So that's why we, we chose those disciplines because it's a close quarters. Nasa loob lang siya ng elevator, the whole, basically the whole fight. Um, and then, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, tsaka mixed martial arts for the final fight, for, for the Derek Dennis fight. Thank you. Janitor kasi, I, uh, the first impression nung nakita ko yung title, sabi ko, ano ba to? Is this an offshoot from a Quentin Tarantino movie na si Guado? Kasi meron siyang part to na isang character, ang tagalinis din. May connection ba? Ano, um, yung, yung uh, I, I'm a Tarantino fan, but uh, that, that, that kind of character, um, it's called the, the the cleaner, I think, in his yeah. movies. It 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 uh, it's in a lot of uh, other movies, even older movies. Ma merong kalagi talagang tagalines. Uh, and I remember in um, in uh, Leo the Professional, they do that also. May mga characters na ganon yung naglalagay ng uh, ng asido sa bathtub para para ma para mawala yung skin ng ano ng, ng victims. Yun yung mga uh, although that's that's all uh, in, in cinema. Marami ng characters na ganon. And uh, parang hopefully, well, you know, people like you who, who know of that genre will pick up on that. Ay, that's that type of character. Pero in a very, in a much more Pinoy setting. Kasi tayo, ang mga tao natin, we don't deal with, you know, chemicals or anything. Unfortunately, it's down in dirty, you know, in the middle of the street or uh, at night, pa uwi na yung target. But the, the, the metaphor still holds. Tagalim is pa rin siya na, ng doing ng mipunan pa rin. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Before we take another glimpse of the trailer, I just have a curious question for Dennis. Kasi pogi pa rin ba yung mga builder na na-interview niyo? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ano na, medyo may may edad na sila ng konti. Medyo, ano na, siguro mga pa-16 siguro. Right? Mga gano'n. 50 plus, late 50s na. Ano na may, um, Normal na tao lang talaga sila, kaya hindi mo talaga ma malinis, uh, nakatakin pa nga yung isa, naka... Gentleman, uh, Hindi mo makakalain talaga. Pero, hindi naman, hindi naman sila talaga good poging, ah... Hindi sila lang. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, panoorin po natin ulit yung trailer. Ayun, hindi ka.